It would be cool to make a short video um, just talking a little bit about how I got into music management in the first place. It's something I never intended to do. It wasn't a dream that I had for a long time. Um, it really just sort of fell into my lap and this day, this exact day, six years ago is technically when it all started. My best friend and roommate at the time, Jeff Bethke, made a YouTube video and put it up online. We went to bed. And we woke up the next morning and it had 800,000 views and within a couple days it had several million and by the end of the month it had like over 20 million views. And that night, the day after we posted it, I came to him and just asked if I could help him with anything <clears throat> and he just said that his email inbox was out of control. And so I remember staying up till like 3 in the morning that night just starting to dig through all the emails that were coming in from people who saw his video, people who wanted him to come speak, uh, there were book deals, there was requests from CBS and ABC, Nightline, and um, the Mike Huckabee Show, and all these people wanted to interview him and talk to him. Yeah, I found myself doing things I had never done before, talking to people I felt super unqualified to talk to. Um, but we both quit our jobs and just jumped headfirst into um, sort of creating uh, an opportunity for him to, to make videos, to speak, to write books full-time and so for the next 10 months um, we traveled the country and helped him book shows and write contracts and um, interface with media outlets and prep for interviews and all that kind of stuff um, just things that I had no prior experience doing but learned on the fly that came to an end you know about 10 months in uh, he got married started traveling with his wife I was doing college ministry stuff in Tacoma Washington that I was really excited about and we really just wanted to be friends again. We had been working together, living together, like it was just me and him basically 24 hours a day, every day of the week. And so I transitioned away from working specifically for him. In case you don't, you, I'm gonna, I'll show you the video real quick so you know what video it was. What if I told you Jesus came to abolish religion? What if I told you voting Republican really wasn't his mission? What if I told you Republican doesn't automatically mean Christian and just because you call some people blind doesn't automatically give you vision? So anyway, that was the video and we uploaded it and it just went crazy viral. Had, had no intention, no expectation that that would happen. And so really it was just trying to keep up with um, the overwhelming response that came in. About two years after that, two years later, um, I got a random phone call from a number I didn't recognize. I just for whatever reason, I don't even know, don't remember why, I just felt like I should pick up the phone, so I picked up the phone, and this lady um, said she wanted me to listen to some music and to reach out to this family, and gave me a phone number of this family that was looking for a manager for their son. And for whatever reason, um, they reached out to her, and she reached out to me, because she had heard of what I had done with my friend Jeff, though that was very different, because it wasn't music management. Um, but I grew up, loving music, I grew up playing music, um, and so I've always been passionate about music and artists and live shows. I love live music, I always have. I love lights and concerts and production and all that stuff, so um, it seemed exciting. It seemed like a cool um, thing to check out, but honestly, when I first got the call, I, I assumed that it wouldn't turn into anything. I assumed that it was probably a family that was, you know, had a spoiled kid who had a dream to be a musician and and that he wasn't gonna be any good. But I was, I had a road trip that night that I was taking, like a two, three hour drive, and so I, I downloaded um, his EP off of iTunes and remember just listening to it over and over again. And it wasn't, it wasn't the best music I'd ever heard, it wasn't you know, the greatest songs that had ever been written by any means, but there was so much glimmers and pieces of talent, and he was 19 at the time. Um, and this is Spencer, who I, I work with now and have worked with for 
um, over three years now. And so <clears throat> we set about over the next few months figuring out what that would look like and slowly starting to work together. Um, I got jumped into that and then it just was sort of one of those things that I didn't really seek out, but I had other people heard that I was working for him and so they asked me if I wanted to help them. And I just sort of stumbled into working for a couple different bands. I helped with a band named Citizens and Saints for a while, um, helped you know organize some tours for some other bands. And um, yeah, it just it's just been something that I, I've, I sort of have stumbled into, but I have found that I absolutely love, that I'm passionate about, that I'm always learning more. Um, I found some really great mentors who have been super helpful and supportive and have taught me a ton along the way. You know, a lot of times I'm on the phone with people or I'm in a meeting and, and I honestly don't know a ton about what they're talking about. And so I go home and study and learn and just uh, take in as much information as I can to, to figure out what other managers have done, how other artists have built their careers. and. Um, and I, I love every minute of it. I love the process. I love um, the work that I get to do. It's a lot of work and, you know, the early stages of it are um, just, you know, it can be super labor intensive. You can do stuff that just doesn't work because you just have to try it and find out that it didn't work. And so, um, you know, go, go down lots of paths. But I, I've had a blast working with Spencer. He's got a new project coming out in a couple months, and um, it's it's the thing that we're most excited about to date. It's, I think, the best songs he's written. I think it's a great sound. I think it captures who he is and who he wants to be as an artist. And um, so it's been super fun just to walk with him over the last couple of years and watch him really step into uh, his own as an artist, learn you know, about songwriting and learn about performing and learn about social media and it's just been this amazing experience so um, if any of you are interested excited looking to learn more or get into music management I'd love to answer any questions you have my email is in the description um, and uh, if I can be of any help to you not that I know nearly enough or anything you know in in terms of knowing it all um, but I've got you know, some good experience and I would love to pass on any of that that's helpful to you. I'd love to collaborate, I'd love to learn from you guys if you are doing music management and, uh, and have some, some, you know, experience and some great stories and, and stuff you've learned, some hacks and tips and all that kind of stuff. That's, you know, it's a super flyover version of the story, um, but it's been super cool just to watch it come together because, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't really something that I, I sought out to do. Um, I actually started in college as a pre-med student, thought I was going to be a doctor, ended up getting a degree in business and finance, then went into full-time college ministry for a while, um, and, and even currently I have a full-time job with a comp great company called Datebox, I do operations for them, um, but on the side, you know, and, and this thing that I've been investing in for the last three, coming up on three and a half years. Um, is something that I'm just super passionate about and I love helping artists discover who they want to be and um, helping bring the vision that they have for their music and their performance to life and um, really freeing them up to do what they do well which is to perform and to sing and to write songs and to be creative and I want to surround them with you know strategy and smart business decisions and just trying to see the whole picture think about the next steps to take and um, and really help lay out a plan for them to step into um, building a career and building a business around their music. So um, I love it. I love what I get to do and uh, I'm really excited for the future and uh, hope that I get to do a lot more of it. So hope that's helpful. Hope it gave you a little insight into how I got to where I am. And um, yeah, I'd love to answer any questions or hear any of your guys' stories. So leave them in the comments, uh, shoot me an email and um, thanks for watching.